and I come from north of Western Australia, and our tribe is the Bardi tribe. Taylor, she was just turned two. I made myself a cup of tea, and then I um, heard a knock on the door. There was child protection service and two policemen, and they said that they were there to take my kids. I said, what for? Why are you taking them? Where's the papers? I want to see the papers. And he said, oh, we don't need papers. And so I walked around the yard. They were following me everywhere, you know, trying to grab Taylor off me. Then my son come to help me. They pulled a pepper spray out and pointed it at my big boy. It was horrible. She was crying. She was screaming, gripping onto me very tight. I didn't like seeing her like that. That's why I said, you know, well, here, yeah, I'll hand her over to this woman, you know, because you guys are scaring her. It was the hardest thing to ever do. It's like my whole world was shattered. Like someone's got your heart and just squeezing it in their hand and you can't, you know, you can't function, you can't do anything really. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Um, the only way I felt better was I said, no, I'm gonna just use all of that towards getting my kids back and fighting for them. They said that it would take about six months just to get a hearing. They also said, because of the condition of my house, that I was neglecting my children. They were in care for months. I'd see them every Friday. That was the most longest time of my life, really, waiting for that Friday. My daughter was very small, like I was. They were trying to use that against me. They said I didn't take her to the hospital, which I did. The doctors could see that it was genetic. And when he read all of the affidavits and the, all the support letters I got from all the doctors and nurses, they basically threw their paperwork out and said, you can pick your kids up. I felt like I won the lotto. <laughs> it was the most happiest day of my life. It was like when the day they were born.